Hey folks, welcome to this episode of Ask Firebase. I'm Abe Haskins, I'm a developer programs engineer on the Firebase team, and in this very special episode of Ask Firebase, we're gonna dive into the questions about AppShip 3000. These are all questions that you asked at Google I.O. this year, and we're gonna answer them. Let's get into it. Take one. First question today is one I got in a bunch of different forms at Google I.O. 2017. AppShip 3000 is ridiculous. How did you come up with this idea? Where did it come from and why did you decide to build it? So I'll tell you. One day I was sitting in the office and my coworker Puff, you might know him. It's me. He showed up and he said, we need to build a game for Google I.O. I said, all right, it's gotta be fun. It's gotta be energetic. You gotta have a teamwork aspect. And most importantly, it has to teach you about how awesome Firebase and Google Cloud can be. So I went home, I came back with some sketches and then we built that into AppShip 3000. All right, next question. Our next question is one about technology. People noticed that we used both Firebase and Google Cloud inside of AppShip 3000, and they wanted to know why we were using both. And the answer is simply that they both worked well for different things. In our case, the rocket ship game, the leaderboard, and the web companion app were all pure Firebase. These were cloud messaging, real-time database, storage, all of these Firebase features. But we also needed something on the back end to do this heavy lifting. You might have seen we generate these flight maps that show exactly where your rocket went as you played the game. This is something that didn't quite make sense to build on Firebase. So we used a complex data pipeline in Google Cloud to do this. If you want to learn more about how we use the power of Google Cloud in AppShip 3000, then you can check out this amazing talk about data pipelines with Firebase and Google Cloud that we've linked below. Next up. This next question is all about the companion web app we made. If you haven't played the game, you might not know that the companion app is how you sign into the game, lets you check the leaderboard, and lets you get notifications when your games are complete. Now, I personally didn't work that much on this part of the app. However, I know someone who did. He's my buddy Nivko, and he normally sits in Zurich, but I think if I pull some strings, I might be able to get him here for this. Just give me one second to get him on the phone. Hey, hey Nivko, yeah. Yeah, I know it's 4 a.m., but Ask Firebase needs you. We need help right now. Can you get here? Uh, yeah. yeah. All right. Fantastic. I'll see you soon. All right. I'm here, Abe. What's up? Oh, thank you, man. Thank you. I'll hand it over to you. All right, guys, I'm Nicholas. I'm based in Zurich, and people usually call me Nivko. So you're going to use the Companion Web App when you want to sign in to the arcade. First, you're going to sign in with your Google account on the Companion Web App, and we're going to generate a sign-in code for you. For this, we use Cloud Functions to trigger on a new account creation. Using that code, you sign into the arcade to launch the rocket. Once the game is done, we're going to save your score on the real-time database and display this on the leaderboard. After a few minutes, we're going to use our Google Cloud Pipeline to generate, as Abe mentioned, a flight path image. And we're gonna send you a re-engagement notification to let you view that image on the web app. All right, guys, that's how we use Firebase on the companion web awesome. app. Awesome, thanks, Nivko. Cheers, Abe. All right, and the final question of the day. Can I play AppShip 3000? And the answer is yes, you can play it, but not right now. Sadly, AppShip 3000 isn't open source yet and it's not available on mobile. That means if you wanna play it, you're gonna to have to come to one of our events in person. AppShip is currently traveling the world getting to different events so that people like you can sit down and have a blast playing it. If you wanna find out where AppShip is, you can follow me on Twitter, follow Firebase on Twitter, and we're gonna keep you up to date on everywhere it's going. And I can't wait for you to play it. That's all for this episode of Ask Firebase. Now, if you wanna see the game in action, we've linked a video below for that. If you wanna learn more about how we built AppShip 3000, there's a link to my blog post along with that data pipelines talk I mentioned. As always, if you have any other questions about Firebase, about AppShip 3000, you can send them out using that hashtag, Ask Firebase, and we will get to them in a future episode. But that's all for now, folks. Thanks for watching.